Hello friends, we have got Dr. Lanke Pallavi, an associate professor of VY Raju Institute of Technology in Medak, Andhra. And she has been, uh, she has received a number of awards and uh, one international award where she had an opportunity to go to South Africa to participate in BRICS Young Scientists Meeting. Dr. Pallavi, can you tell us what was this meeting all about and what was your experience? Thank you, sir. Thank you for introducing me. So, BRICS Young Scientist is one of the greatest achievement in my life, first of all. Why? Because till now, I didn't uh, board the flight, first of all. But through this big, big science scientist story, I have done opportunity to fly to the abroad. And coming to here, if this uh, young scientist uh, BICS was the theme I've selected as like education. So as I'm an assessor professor in engineering college, it is a great opportunity to apply for the theme of education proposal. So based on the current scenario, how the uh, emerging technologies are impacting on the education system, I have selected the concept like uh, AI, in through education, how it will be impacted here. So I have proposed that theme and in the questionnaire they ask like uh, how it will be fetching into the undergraduate students and post graduation uh, graduate students. There are five questionnaires. So I have written the each and every question and answer and applied for that. And after applying, I that is the last day, July 8th. This is the last day of the submission of Brick Science Scientist application. So at exactly 10 p.m. I have submitted the application. So I thought that it is like uh, still time is there, but uh, to that day is the last day of the submission date. I have read successfully, but I didn't expect really because I have studied my education is in the tier three colleges. As I'm in uh, JN2, okay, I have done my diploma and later I went to the BTEC and later masters in JN2 University. Then I got to an opportunity like through decision, I shifted to teaching field. So I'm a 2008 BTEC passed out. I got selected in three companies, but uh, due to the recession in 2008, so I shifted to teaching field. So from that the year onwards till now, I'm in the process of like education system. So I have seen a lot of students' mentality and the parents' expectations in the engineering field. So through that scenario, I applied the proposal here and I got selected. It's a really great achievement, first of all, for selecting uh, among all the participants and that too from India. It was a great achievement, seriously. I should thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you Dr. Pallavi. You told us uh, two things. One, that there would be certain themes. Now, friends, these themes keep changing. So each year, depending upon the presidency of BRICS, which, whichever member country is uh, hosting, they would define the theme in consultation with BRICS partner. And then they would be inviting proposals from youngsters like Dr. Pallavi and uh, one need to write. You were telling bit concerns, uh, various apprehensions that you submitted at the last moment, uh, just yeah. two hours before the closing. And you came from a humble background uh, and you were competing against students and faculty from premier colleges. What was your all apprehension? and uh, why you feel you were selected. Also, who were the other partners in your group? Yeah, actually, now coming to here in that, uh, the, release, uh, the release of team like uh, theme of education, climate change, and some emerging sustainability development. Now in the present scenario, whatever you're doing like uh, for a student or for faculty, we need to consider on three things. One is like teaching and learning. And the second one is like placements. And the third one is like research and development. These are the three important factors for any kind of a degree or engineering student. So what I thought is like in education system, everyone are going to get like a placement. It is not in a big achievement. Now coming to here like innovative is important. So why? Because in the innovative field, if you became like a, so writing a simple, an idea can change your life, first of all. So first implement the idea, write the abstract, then submit to like an hackathons and ideathons. And then next level to that is like DST, like funding related. Next, we'll go to the next level that is like international. This is the learn. So learn by doing process, step-by-step -step learning. 
so if you the do this kind of anything then we can get like a lot of uh, research and development opportunities so if you uh, you have like in your networks so different types from the academia from the industry from the ac uh, academy are also like international and national level faculties so you don't feel like i'm a type 3 student you can visit your knowledge can change to any field to any extent here so that is very important and you need to follow the great persons seriously a daily i'll follow the sanjeev sir posting in linkedin facebook why because he is like a 60 plus person he is taking like how the india and the youth has to be developed in the different areas so he is a motivation for us he is a role model for our young generation so please write the different types of an network things interact with the people academy and industry then we'll get a different ideas so that is my thing yeah. sir dr pallavi thanks for the kind words but uh, i thought we are discussing more about you today <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, you see, this uh, participation in young scientists meeting is for limited days. But has it helped you in any way that you have been to South Africa? Okay, it's wonderful going abroad. But in terms of your academic profile, could you develop something new uh, with colleagues who are part of your team or part of other big team? Could you develop something? Yes, sir. Actually, first of all, in India, only different scientists have met, actually. So, from different like uh, ICMR and uh, uh, NIAS program and Amity University, different people, they're in different fields. So, I'm the smallest person that I selected, like, team of education. Coming to here, I thought that I'm the younger among this, but more than me, other younger people is there. She is from, like, uh, she is doing her PhD in IIT Karakpur, Devanshi. So I thought like, so we are lucky to have here. And here I'm most connected with the people of like different universities and the different scientist fields in the different fields. Next coming to when I visit there in the Russia people and China people have interacted me. They said like, uh, can you share your uh, tools uh, related to education? So how you are incorporating the students in the different areas, encouraging. They asked me the, to share the tools. I shared that information. And uh, immediately, one after my presentation, immediately from one person came to me and he said that uh, I was uh, giving an invitation to visit like a conference to Russia. So it was a uh, wonderful opportunity. But I thought that uh, immediately my seeing the presentation, he is giving opportunity. What is that? Did I did well? Or else I thought is that mine is junior level. But a lot of connections was there. I can't express that one. So that is the first thing Russian people has connected with me and South Africa people, they said like, uh, can you give it in a seminar to our students? So after uh, visiting there, I made a connection with the uh, international conference as a technical program member for the Russia conference. And I got an opportunity for the in conference to the Russia for three days visit. And the coming to the China people, we are writing the proposal, sir. So we had like a DST proposal bricks. So China people, South Africa, and we started, uh, we submitted the proposal also. This is the one second opportunity I got it here. And the third opportunity is like within the India, in NIAS, recently I collaborated with uh, an uh, MOU with the uh, uh, Pasha sir. So we are working on the climate change. So we submit, uh, now I've shifted my theme to cl climate change. Why? Because I need to get more connections. Yeah. And I well, need to I think uh, what you are trying to say that although this event was of a limited days, but yeah. it helps you in connecting not only with your own team members within across India in different institutions, but also it helps you in connection with your overseas partners. And now yeah. you are looking forward for more bigger research goals so that yes, you sir. can uh, deliver. Wonderful. So congratulations and all the good wishes. Now, last question I would like to take from you. Uh, yeah. What would be your advice for the future aspirant of uh, BRICS Young Scientist Meeting? Sir, now actually, uh, I should not say like that, but I want to visit the BRICS content in each and every country in one year at least. So I visited like South Africa. So I want to visit like Brazil and the other countries also, but it is not good like no, that. It depends. If you develop collaboration with them, then you will have an opportunity. Yeah. 
so everyone has to get an opportunity sir the thing the people will think like uh, uh, it's not an uh, it's only for high level like that don't think like that so whatever the opportunity is coming here first try to uh, based upon the theme you need to write the abstract and next if you return like if you visit other countries you'll get the fellowships and scholarships also as washi sir is daily posting the japan fellowships and uh, some other countries italy scholarships and everything so we continue to follow the linkedin first in the social media and next one based upon that your area you need to select only one area but now it is it is like ai technique so you have to work in the interdisciplinary areas you have less coding we have chat gpt and everything okay but the idea is very important the idea cannot be developed by chat gpt right we need to innovate so frame that proposal related to the title so submit the proposal if the whether it is national or international level submit it first if you do is a failure then apply again we had the pro failures at the stepping stones for the success so definitely we'll get one one day we'll get success yeah okay. thank you dr pallavi so, i think it's very nice approach to any given opportunity you participated yeah. in brics young scientist meeting but then there are many such meetings which uh, provide opportunity to our youngsters uh yes, go to any part of the world and interact with their own team as well as all the other participants so yeah. you will find details about these schemes in time to come uh, but what the important take away from dr pallavi's uh, conversation is don't feel yourself is small because don't feel that you would be doing something very routine the moment idea pricks you you need to further uh, polish it and sharpen it and then go forward with your idea and that will take you forward thank you dr yeah. pallavi for your time and uh,